Gucci. I walk with the elephants. Rolling, rolling with elephants. Yo, what's the Gibbonator? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In this one, we're going to be having a look at the leaks and just talking about how there's possibly going to be a battle royale mode coming to Call of Duty World War II. Now, this was actually leaked by Mr. Jani. Now, this guy has leaked so much in the past for Call of Duty. Last year, during Infinite Warfare, he was leaking all of the variants, all of the new DLC guns and stuff like that. And he was right every time in this game. He predicted the chrome camo. He showed off that before anyone else had it. So, this guy is very trustworthy. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description so if you want to go over to there and find this out for yourself as soon as he finds it because he's like he's one of these people that looks into the code of the game and then finds these files for all of the new stuff so essentially um, what he's done here to find out about this battle royale mode is that the new update came out for Call of Duty probably a week ago and he's looked into the files and noticed that there was a new game mode that was added and it was um, saved as uh, BR something like that so battle royale that's what we're all thinking he actually has loaded it up and you can go over to his channel to see the exact gameplay i don't want to upload it to my channel because there is a, a very high risk of that getting taken down by um activision but anyway the actual gameplay looked as though it was going to be a battle royale mode which is so so sick now obviously the whole thing hasn't been added into the game yet and they probably still have a lot of things to figure out but i can definitely see this coming into the game like call of duty world war 2 is one of the perfect games to actually implement this in because it is like there are some really big maps i mean not as big for like a one 100 players on the map like there's nothing as big as that but you do have maps like gustav cannon where it would be possible to kind of actually have a good game i mean i imagine you'd have to limit it down to about 25 players but then again i'm i'm not even sure whether call of duty would be able to run like a 100 player map because it would have to be so big like can you imagine fortnite's map with call of duty's graphics it would be absolutely insane and i do not think an xbox or a playstation could handle that so i imagine it would be scaled down quite massively but then if you think about it the features that are in world war 2 can easily make a really good battle royale game mode so you've got the um the actual care package things and the paratroopers they come in just like you do in your your pubg and your fortnite they glide down with their parachutes onto the map so that could be the start that'd be so sick and um, as well as that, you've got like the care packages, which you could have as like the chests that you find in Fortnite. And you've got the supply drop crates as well. So you could have these different rarity crates all around the map in random places. So you could have your supply drops, you could have like epic supply drops, all of these things around the map. And they would give you like um, better loot. So obviously like the epic ones would give you epic guns. And then you could have heroic ones, which are like really rare. Kind of like how you've got the, the llama supply drops in Fortnite. I feel like this would be such a cool thing for COD to do. There's also, if you think about it, back in Call of Duty 4, there was the, the old school mode. And in that, you kind of like, you started with a pistol. And in that, you had some weird features. Like, you could jump higher, you could run around faster and weird stuff like that. But what you could do is go around and find guns on the map. And as well as that, you could actually go around and find perks. So imagine that as well. You go around and you just find a perk on the map or you kill someone. You can take their perks. I feel like it'd be such a, a good feature to add into the game. And I do feel like this would work for Call of Duty. I know a lot of people are kind of scared about it. They don't want Call of Duty to do a battle royale mode because they feel like they'll ruin it. But I feel like they could potentially make the best one now. Whether I want them to do it in World War II, that's another question because obviously they wouldn't have had much time to develop it. These battle royale games are only starting to like trend within like the past year and I'm not sure whether they will have enough time to actually develop a good one that's going to give them a good name in the battle royale scene. So I feel like this would be a better thing for Treyarch to focus on for Black Ops 4 and it could really take off. And if you think about it as well, they could kind of implement in like the pack a punch machine and stuff from zombies and just stuff like that to further like upgrade yourself i don't know how they would do that but it'd be pretty damn cool imagine if you find just like a supply drop somewhere it's got like an upgraded gun in it i thought that'd be so cool and it just would be cool i'm not sure whether it'd be in like third person or first person obviously all of the call of duties are in first person but if you have a look at like black ops 3 black ops i'm not sure whether black ops 2 had it i think black ops 1 did there was that zombies mode that was in third person and you could um, just run around. It was really crappy third person. It was like an arcade game. But they, they definitely know how to make third person games. So I'm guessing they could do that. 
but I actually think it would be a massive, like, a really good selling point if they do manage to make a really good first-person battle royale game, and it could potentially get Call of Duty back in the scene, back at the top of the game, which would be so, so sick, because Call of Duty at the minute is kind of dying because they have been doing the same thing year after year. I mean, it has been at the top of the gaming franchise for a very long time, but they do need to change up. If Call of Duty wants to stay at the top, they need to add a battle royale game mode, so it doesn't surprise me that this has been added into the code for World War 2 at all because the player base for World War 2 has definitely dropped. My views on YouTube for World War 2 videos they have gone down massively since the start and if you have a look at games like Fortnite they're absolutely blowing up so it does make sense for Activision, Sledgehammer to get on the hype train because it's they're a business at the end of the day. They want to make a lot of money off their games and battle royale modes are definitely the way to go about it and like they can add so much DLC as well with like Battle Royale gamers because that's a good thing if they did do it third person it's such a good way to like sell cosmetics like uh, skins for your characters because at the minute if you get like a cool skin in Call of Duty World War 2 you can't appreciate it because you don't actually see your character at all so if you actually got like it was third person and you could see your character then you would actually be able to see these cool skins more people would be likely to buy supply drops and stuff like that so I feel like that'd be another cool thing. And then if you think about it, like Call of Duty would be so good as a battle royale mode and would stand out from all the others just because it's got um like the, the camos guns and stuff. Like Fortnite hasn't yet done camos for their guns, so like that would be a massive thing to separate the games out, but I'm not sure because obviously Fortnite has the building and that is a massive aspect of why everyone likes Fortnite because if you just um if you take out the building out of Fortnite, it is really just a really crappy PUBG. And there's no denying that, like, the guns have completely random recoil, they handle like crap, but when you can build and fly, basically, with just, like, building staircases to heaven and stuff like that, it's, it's just crazy, it makes the game really fun. And I'm not sure whether Call of Duty would be able to add, like, a building thing, because I'm pretty sure Fortnite now would have done, like, some kind of a, like, a trademark, whatever you call it, on that, because, like, I don't know, it's such a unique thing that they've come up with with the building. That I feel like they wouldn't want anyone to take that away from them because if Call of Duty did it, obviously more people would buy it than um, like the Fortnite developers. But yeah, it's just it's one of those things, boys, where it's kind of so different from what Call of Duty's been. But we need, we need development. We need one of these modes. We need to get people back into the Call of Duty scene. So I'm down for whatever they want to do. If they want to add building in, go for it. Um, as long as it starts to get like more people playing the game, gets it to be fun again, I'm happy. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Tell me whether you would like a Battle Royale mode or not. Because I know a lot of people don't and then a lot of people do. So it's kind of split in the community. But yeah, I, I do want it. So yeah, that's my opinions. It's been the Gibbonator and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.